it becomes a backpack very cute little pouch how cute this is i think it's like a mango yellow this reminds me of christian louboutin Today's video is all about my bag collection. Again, a highly requested video, so here it is. And stick to the very end of this video because I'll show you what my wardrobe looks like, where I store all these bags, and some tips on how to maintain them. I'll begin with the most casual pieces and work our way towards my favorite part, work bags. So let's get started. First is this quilted crossbody bag from Zara that I purchased last year, and I'm sure you might have seen this in a number of my videos because it's very versatile, goes with so many of my outfits, even the one that I'm wearing right now. It looks perfect and I really love the fact that it's very spacious got a sweet deal on this one because uh, it was on sale at that time if I remember it correctly and I think I got it for like 10 15 dollars it also comes with this heavy duty chain uh, so if you want you can double this up use it as a shoulder bag or you can open it like this and use it as a crossbody bag this bag is something that i'm using quite a lot these days uh, it has a white strap and i really love the graphic print and the zipper also comes with an attachment which has the same design as the strap i think it looks very stylish this bag is perfect for running errands and you don't want to carry like big tote bags with you this is what it looks like from inside quite spacious it also comes with two small pockets uh, one inside and one on the back let's talk about one of my favorite pieces it's this bag from a brand called new bella and there are so many things that i like about this bag starting with the shape it looks like a very expensive luxury bag but it's not it's very affordable very cheap and given how many times i've used this bag uh shape is still like new i also really love how it's deep chocolate brown color i think it's very difficult to get a color like this at such affordable price and let me tell you what i'm talking about if you look at this bag it looks somewhat cheap and the color is not very nice but this one it looks very expensive very chic it has snap buttons so you open the buttons like this go at the very end and you can adjust the length of the strap so yes uh, now you know why i like this bag so much and this video is not sponsored by new bella then comes this tote bag uh, it's actually a two-in-one tote bag from a brand called Zaful. reason why i said this is a two-in-one bag because uh, it can also become a backpack let me show you how it has this adjustable strap like this so you can put this in one shoulder and then put the other one the shoulder like this and it becomes a backpack other than this bag being two in one i really like the fact that this has a slouchy look i really like these kind of bags i call this next bag audience favorite because every time i post an outfit using this bag i get a lot of comments under my videos uh, for a link but unfortunately this bag is out of stock and i think i purchased this bag five or six years ago it's quite old i'm so sorry uh, but i'm talking about this big tote bag uh, from uh, ralph lauren and i really like this square shape and it's a heavy duty uh, like a jute bag i also really like how minimalistic it is even the logo that says ralph lauren it's very small you cannot really see and it's not like out there in your face only thing that i don't like about this bag is that it doesn't have any pockets i really wish that they provided one extra pocket for your wallet or your phone but looks like you can throw everything in here and it will be a mess but other than that i really really love this bag and looks like you guys love it too by now you might have noticed that all these bags are either brown or black that's the reason i purchased this bag recently from zara i really like the size it's very big perfect if you are traveling or you're going on a vacation even for everyday use i think it looks very stylish very nice combination of orange uh, dark blue light blue colors and surprisingly this bag comes with a lot of pockets there is one pocket on the inside with two compartments one which is meant for your phone another is a bigger one and then you have two pockets on the side but given the size and the design of this bag i think it also limits uh, the usage so you cannot really use with 
all your outfits it's not that versatile another drawback the straps are not adjustable you can only carry it as a shoulder bag for the next two bags i actually have to come down to the parking lot because i keep them in my car at all times uh this first bag i use it for uh grocery shopping this is like a 100 percent cotton net bag so it's very sustainable better than using single-use plastic this carries all my produce uh if i'm buying fruits or anything uh this comes in very handy that's that and then i have a crochet bag uh, this is like a tote bag uh, i use this as a shopping bag and given that i have a very bad memory i always uh, forget to carry my shopping bag with me so i always keep uh, something like this in my car and that reminds me i have this new car fragrance uh, in this bag that i have to install i was just being lazy so let's do it right now because i am in the car anyway this car fragrance is from a company called Called drift uh, they are actually sister company of scentbird and you all know how much i love scentbird i think i still have one of their fragrance lying around here somewhere so let's just quickly Coming back to Drift, uh, they create air care products for your car and for your home. All materials that they use are sustainable and their scents are made with natural essential and fragrance oils. And the best part for me is that their products are very affordable. It's just $9 for their wood fragrance and $14 for stone. When you start your subscription for the first month, you receive a starter kit with the clip and the scent and then you can just get monthly refills. This month I received teak uh, with hints of musk amber pepper which actually makes sense because uh, we are almost in fall season now let's try and install our new car fragrance first i need to take this metal clip out of the packaging now to install this you need to uh, use your sun visor it goes on the visor like this and now you just have to take your new fragrance uh, this is like a magnetic clip this also has a nail on the back side and hopefully they fit like a glove let's see that's it it's easier than i thought you can use my code cock to get 55 percent off your first month at drift when it comes to the straw bag collection i only have two bags number one is my favorite this bucket straw bag look how cute this is i think this was an impulse buy i haven't used this bag a lot because obviously uh, the size is very small and given the shape it doesn't really go with a lot of my outfits uh, but anyway i don't regret my decision uh, because this is really really cute this is another straw bag that I have. I purchased this one from Shein and I was quite surprised given the price was only $10-$12. I also have a straw hat inside which is now obviously destroyed. This is a very basic must-have kind of straw bag. This bag doesn't come with a long strap or anything so you can only carry it on your shoulder or in your hands like this. Now I will quickly go through my fancy occasion wear bags. First one is this very cute uh, blush pink clutch and this has a silver hardware. This is what it looks like from inside. I think I purchased this right before my marriage. I don't know. I think it was for a Christmas party. I don't really remember. But anyway, this one is uh, from ASOS. Uh, it comes with a silver chain, which is all tangled up. And I don't really have the time to sort it out. But you guys get the idea. I always carry this in my hand like this. It looks really nice with fancy dresses. And this clutch is perfect for a party even though it doesn't carry anything, not even my phone. And because this clutch is pink, doesn't go with all my outfits, therefore I have another fancy bag. This is from a brand called Le Chateau. I really like the black and gold hardware. Very sleek look, goes with all my party wear dresses and I again carry this in my hand but this also comes with a long gold chain let me just show you right now so it's something like this if you have a lot of food in your hand you can just carry it on your shoulder otherwise just use it as a clutch i think having feathers on your hemline your sleeves and your dresses it's really trendy these days but i don't want to fall for these trends because once you purchase an expensive dress like that and the trend is gone next year you feel like you have no use for that dress but the best way to incorporate a trend like this in your outfit is through an 
accessory and I'm talking about this feather clutch bag uh, this one is again from uh, Le Chateau I really like the design I love the fact that this is not your typical rectangular or a square clutch this is the last bag uh, in this fancy category uh, this one is from a brand called Motif I have collaborated with them a number of times I really love their office wear collection this is a gathered uh, fake leather bag one thing that I like about this bag is it's very spacious so if you are carrying this to a party or something you can just put uh, all the food inside and bring it home just kidding no i'm not you can carry this bag like this doesn't really matter what the shape will be in the end i think it looks stylish either way this next section is only meant for urban revival bags because i really love their bag collection i think their designs are very unique starting with this first very cute little bucket bag uh this has like a buckle closure with a magnetic button and then it has two compartments again comes with a small strap a longer strap so you can style this in so many ways it looks very expensive and very stylish as well having colorful bags is not really my thing but when i saw this bag on their website i was like yes i need to get this because uh, the shape is very unique and it is gathered at two places i really love this shade of yellow i think it's like a mango yellow one thing that i've observed with urban revival bags is they use very high quality hardware uh, zipper is very nice don't go by the looks of this bag it has a lot of space and comes with two pockets i wanted to upgrade my white shoulder bag for so long and when i saw uh, this shoulder bag i thought this is like a perfect replacement uh, this is much bigger in size than what i had before and icing on the cake is that this is like a two-in-one bag it comes with this very cute little pouch i think this pouch you can use it as it is for your makeup and stuff or you can just put this in your shoulder bag and use it like an extra pocket because this bag on its own without the pouch doesn't have any zipper inside it's like just one compartment a very sturdy and high quality bag even if you don't have anything inside it will not lose its shape as you can see right now it's empty but you can put it like this on a table and it will not fall off and my favorite is this black lining which gives a lot of depth and dimension to this bag making it look very expensive let's take a moment to appreciate this cute little green bag uh, that has a very different very unique design uh, it says enter with an arrow pointing towards it and once you enter the bag uh, it has two snap buttons uh, with silver hardware it also comes with a long a uh, strap attachment but i like to carry this bag just like that not with the longer strap last but not the least is this very beautiful pastel blue uh, shoulder bag with heavy duty chunky chains unlike the white bag this unfortunately does not retain its shape when it's empty but i really like this combination of snake texture with silver hardware and it comes with two pockets let's move on to the work bags uh, starting with this dark brown bag from teddy blake as you all know i use this quite a lot just look at the space uh, that this has it fits my laptop and all the other stuff that i have very sturdy and high quality bag i believe that everyone should invest in good high quality work bags because this is something that you carry with you pretty much every day so it only makes sense this next tote bag is also from teddy blake i really love the design and obviously it's black in color very versatile uh, goes with all my office outfits and a big reason why i went for this bag in particular is this red and black combination this reminds me of christian louboutin this bag also comes with a cute little detachable pouch that you can also use uh, like your wallet if you are going out for lunch with your colleagues you can just carry this and not carry your whole bag with you next bag that i have here is let me just take it out of the dust bag this bag is from motif it looks expensive but it's not it was very cheap very affordable i think uh, this was only for like 20 25 dollars but right now unfortunately it's out of stock and 
what it looks like from inside. If I talk about fabric, this is a jute bag and uh, the color is off-white, beige, green. I really like the design, how leather continues all the way to the other side and these straps are also adjustable. Not so much, but somewhat adjustable. I get a lot of requests for this next work bag because apparently you guys really like the shape of it and this is from a brand called uh, Simons Canada. Again, this bag looks like a very small bag, but it carries my laptop with ease. It's very spacious, has like three compartments. I bought this bag, I think it was three or four years ago, and it was not that expensive given how high quality it is. And good news, this one is still available on Simons website, I think price right now is somewhere around 80 90 dollars i really like the shape and size of this bag very minimalistic uh, makes your outfit look very chic and effortless these next two bags are from a website called songmont they have high quality affordable luxury bags i don't like to spend thousands of dollars on luxury bags but i also don't want to waste my money on cheap products and i think songmont has the right price point. This bag is from their drippy roof collection. Again, perfect for carrying my laptop. I really like the shape of this bag. I love the fact that it has phone pockets on both sides, adjustable straps and a magnetic closure so you can open and close it with ease. Very high quality leather. For those of you who don't carry uh, their laptop to work, I think this bag is perfect. This bag is also from Songmon's uh, Drippy Roof Collection. I really like the color. It's not jet black but it's also not grey. Somewhere in between, again, it comes with side pockets. This detail is definitely unique, something that I've never seen before. And just like my other bags, this also comes with two straps. These are all the bags that I have uh, when it comes to my bag collection. Uh, now let me quickly show you what my wardrobe looks like and where I store them, how I store them. I have this dresser here that is mostly full with my activewear clothes and a few other useless things but this second drawer is entirely dedicated to all the small clutches and bags. These are the ones that I don't have a dust bag for and also because I don't have enough space on my shelf in my closet where I usually keep my bags and all these bags are small anyway so they fit very nicely. I just realized that I forgot to show you this small glittery gemstone bag. This one is again from Le Chateau. I really like the strap on this it has two knots on each side and I usually style this bag with my occasional party wear dresses even though I have not covered ethnic wear bags for this video let me show you the ones that are just lying here I have more in my storage but these two I used them recently that's why they are here first is this portly bag I'm obsessed with it it has these small mirrors looks very beautiful with heavy Indian suits second is this boho kind of purse I really like the vibrant colors and I love to pair this up with my simple white kurtis because it it gives a very nice touch to any neutral look and then right beside the dresser I have two tote bags just hanging on the door because they are really big and they don't have like a definite shape and whenever I try to store them uh, on a shelf uh, they make it look like a mess so I just keep them hang them here then moving on this is one part of my closet this is what my wardrobe looks like I have a big shelf on the top where I keep all my bags and just make sure that your bags are protected from any kind of dust and in order to do that always make sure that you store them in a dust bag and good quality bags always come with a dust bag i think that's one sign that you can look for whenever you are purchasing a bag starting on the left all the black pouches that you see are uh, urban revival bags and then moving towards right i have all my teddy blake bags then i have my cute little uh, straw bucket bag on the far right uh, i have two new additions my song bond bags if you think this is not an aesthetically pleasing way to store them then you can always purchase transparent storage boxes I think that looks way cleaner but this is something that just works for me. So yes, this is how and where I store my bags. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Once again, a huge shout out to Drift for sponsoring. Make sure you check all the links in my description box down below and don't forget to use my code COG to get 55% off your first month at Drift. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!